Hey everybody, I'm in the Moore newsroom. This is where we, uh, we collect all of the news that we put on the Moore show. We also collect a lot of junk, like my desk. This is a great example of why uh, we need help. Uh, and it happens to be National Clean Desk Day. So we brought in the queen of organization, Brenda Principali, to uh, clean up desks similar to mine. Take a look. Hey everybody, did you know that it's Clean Desk Day? And so guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna give you some tips and strategies on how to have a clean desk in front of you. So one of the very first things that you wanna do as we look at a desk as an example here, is you wanna look at office supplies and where are they and do you really need them all out and about? Now as you start doing some of the sorting process, you don't need anything fancy, simply a box or some extra bins and that'll get you started. So one of the things that you'll find when you're sorting your office supplies is you actually might have two of the same thing. So the next thing that you want to gather and look at are all the things that are paper files. Those are the things that actually start to get really, really out of hand. So you want to go ahead, grab a box, grab a bin, and just start to collect those. So now what you want to do with these two things in particular is really find what is your best strategy for keeping them neat and tidy on your desk. So for office supplies, really start to look at what is it that you need at your fingertips and what is it that you don't need every day. Could it be in a drawer? Could it be in a little storage area? And find what is the most at your fingertips. So simply having a couple of bins, whether they go in the drawer or even on your desktop, what's nice about putting them in a bin is that they have a very specific place. It doesn't get out of hand, and it also gives you a limit to how much desktop space you're gonna be using for your office supplies. So we all have paper sitting around our desks, and sometimes we leave it out because it's something that you wanna to refer to on a regular basis, and you don't wanna store it away in a file. So for those types of papers, one of the great things that you can do is actually just get a binder. And as you're keeping that, it's one thing on your desk and it has all of those papers that you need to do reference to. So the other thing that's gonna happen is as you scan your desk to do this clean desk process, you're gonna find that there are things that really don't belong here or that are trash. And for example, an old calendar from September of 2019, you know that's out of date. So take a few simple steps. Get rid of the office supplies that you don't need, organize your papers, get rid of the things that don't belong there, and look, you have some great workspace for the projects that you need to take out, work, and then of course put away. So happy clean desk day and go for it. All right, first of all, Brenda should have done my desk, uh, you know, since she came here, but, but I'm, I'm motivated now to get rid of some stuff, but. Well, I can't get rid of Mr. Kitty, you know, or, or the Cheshire Cat, or this cat, or this keychain cat. I can't get rid of this one, or that cat. I mean, this is, this is, there's no, all right, we'll deal with it later. Maria, over to you.